I'm excited. I can't even lie. Play the main story of The Last of Us. Yes, sir. Let's dive in. I'm actually gassed. This is this is very cool. Let's dive in. Okay, baby, we're safe. We're safe. Hey, we need help. Stop! Please. It's my gun. I think her. Oh, I feel like I've been through so much already. <laughs> Hey gamers and non-gamers alike, welcome to the world world of The Last of Us, the game that proves you can still find love in a post-apocalyptic world, even if it comes in the form of dodging infected zombies. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Picture this, it's like The Bachelor, but instead of roses, you get a shotgun. So, we've got Joel, a guy who's seen more post-apocalyptic drama than we've had hot meals, and Ellie, a teenage girl who gives zero you-know-what about your zombie survival tactics. Like illegal things? Sometimes. You ever smuggle a kid before? No. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Together, they embark on a journey that's part heartwarming, road trip, and part how many ways can we creatively take down a clicker. Right, I'm gonna distract them over here with my okay clicker Molotov out. I see him. I'm gonna go and blow them up. Can't wait. Oh my gosh, there's three. Okay, let's go. <laughs> wait, there's another one. Trust me, it's like Thelma and Louise meets The Walking Dead, but with much more emotional baggage. What are you doing? Killing time. Your watch is broken. EMOTIONAL DAMN! Okay, so the first part of this video is the graphics. And I've titled this chapter, Graphics That Make You Forget You're In A Zombie Apocalypse. Oh my god. Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> I know this is meant to be like a really deep scene, but the graphics look insane! Look at that rain! The rain! Bro, look at that rain and the lighting! Oh my god. Oh, it looks so good. Why does it look so good? So, let's talk about these graphics. Remember, the first time you saw a sunset so beautiful it made you question if you were actually in a video game? That's The Last of Us for you. The visuals in this game are so stunning that I almost forgot there were mutated creatures trying to rip my face off. The attention to detail is like the game developers were on a quest to make every blade of grass look better than my actual lawn. You've got dilapidated dated cities that look like modern art, and the character expressions are so on point that you can almost feel Joel's pain when he stubs his virtual toe. Sorry, sorry, that was me. It's like the apocalypse, but make it fashion. I mean, the realism in the character details is just insane. The water drips down Joel's jacket and pulls the little creases of his fabric before dripping onto his shoe. It's honestly unbelievable, and the first time I opened up The Last of Us, I said, Oh my gosh, the realism is nuts already. Your birthday? Oh, little birthday present. Cheeky birthday present. Uh, 20 to midnight. Where did you get the money for this? Drugs. I sell hardcore drugs. Oh good. You started helping out with the mortgage then. Yeah, you wish. Imagine if I said that to my parents. <laughs> this is like a movie. It was literally the first thing out of my mouth. Would you listen, listen to this? Death has passed it's like a movie. It seriously is like a movie. So the next part I want to talk about is the controls. So controls that make you feel like a zombie slaying maestro.
So, let's chat about these controls. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> because, let's face it, you're only as good as your button mashing skills. The controls in The Last of Us are smoother than a fresh jar of peanut butter. From crouch walking to silently take down your enemies, to the adrenaline pumping sprint when things get hairy. It's like the game whispers, hey, you got this, apocalypse warrior. And the weapons? Oh boy. It's like the game designers handed you a toolbox and said, go wild. It's not just about shooting, it's about strategy, resourcefulness, and maybe throwing a brick at someone's face just for kicks. Uh... What do you want to do? Poor bastard. <laughs> Sorry, that, that, that was me. My bad. It's so satisfying, it's like therapy, but with more explosions. It really did get me thinking about the combat, and honestly, it's really detailed and varied in the gameplay mechanics. So one, one of my favourite things to do is you have to scavenge around, find different tools. Some tools are like in-game currencies, while other tools you actually craft to make new melee weapons or bricks or etc. And these weapons are really cool because they effectively unlock new abilities for your characters. So, for example, one of the main things is a clicker. You can't just grab one and stealth kill it like a normal enemy because it will just overpower you. So what you have to do is get a shiv, and the way you get a shiv is you have to make a shiv using lots of materials which you found along the way. So it's really, really interesting and varied in its game mate gameplay mechanics and it was one of the main things that actually struck me about this Last of Us remake. Okay, chapter three. My first date with The Last of Us love at first shotgun blast. Okay, let me take you back to the first time I played The Last of Us. Picture this, me, bag of chips, a controller, I filmed it. Okay, so welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do something completely different, where we basically, I haven't played through The Last of Us, so we're gonna play through The Last of Us opening chapter. Um, for everybody online, because uh, I thought that would be a fun thing to do. So, that's what we're doing today. I'm excited, I can't even lie. Play the main story of The Last of Us. Yes, sir. Let's dive in. I'm actually gassed. This is this is very cool. Let's dive in. I thought I was prepared for an emotional roller coaster, but nothing could have prepared me for the intense feels this game delivers. The story hooked me like a fishing line in a zombie-infested pond. Look out! Oof, big hit, big impact. How did no one get hurt in that accident? It's crazy. How bad? Oh, never mind. <laughs> the characters became my virtual BFFs. Whoa. And every twist and turn left me questioning my life choices. <laughs> that was a Star Wars sound effect. I laughed, I cried a lot, and at times I may have shouted at the screen like Joel could hear me. It's not just a game, it's a journey, an experience, and I emerged from it a changed gamer. <laughs> In conclusion, The Last of Us is not just a game, it's an emotional roller coaster with impeccable graphics, controls smoother than butter, and a story that'll make your heart do a tango. Oh. So grab your controller, maybe a box of tissues, and dive into the apocalypse, because this game is one heck of a ride. You got something on your shoe. Huh. 